Config Jam, the hot new whiteboarding tool, works great with Google Classroom. Let's take a look at how you can assign Fig Jam templates to your class, individual students, and project groups. Hi, my name is John Silwash. I help teachers and students use Google products in the classroom. I'm a big Google Classroom user and I love Fig Jam, so putting the two together makes a lot of sense. Now, if you're not familiar with Fig Jam, definitely check out my Fig Jam introduction video. I'll link to that in the video description. I'm grateful for Fig Jam for sponsoring this series. Fig Jam is 100% free for teachers and students. You definitely have to check it out. Now, we're going to be looking at three different ways to use Fig Jam in your classroom whole class, individual, and group projects. Let's look at a whole class activity. Fig Jam is great for using with all of your students and having all of them brainstorm together. We're gonna to be working on this chapter six review guide that I set up. So I've already created my Fig Jam activity. I'm gonna open that activity up. And Fig Jam works a lot like a Google document in terms of how you share with other people. We're gonna hit that share button up in the top right corner. Looks very similar. And you have a couple of options. You can copy and paste your students' Google email addresses into this screen. That's an option. However, an easier way is simply to change this so that anyone with the link can edit. Now this works a little bit differently than what it does with Google. Anyone can edit, but they have to sign in in order to access the edit controls. This will prevent students from just randomly typing things or messing things up. You'll know exactly who they are and can remove them if you want. So for whole class projects, I simply change it to anyone with the link can edit, copy that link. We're gonna head back to Google Classroom and we're going to add that to our classroom assignment. So I'm gonna hit edit and just add link. When a student clicks on this link, it'll open the activity and then we'll prompt them to sign in to their Google account, at which point they'll be able to make changes, leave comments and other things. That's the easy way to let all of your students access a Fig Jam activity for a whole class project. Let's talk about how you can make a copy of a Fig Jam file for all of your students. So I'm a biology teacher and I love the idea of creating little concept maps to help students understand the relationship between different groups of animals or plants. Now Fig Jam has thousands of really amazing templates that you can browse. These happen to be on the education page of the Figma template library. And so one option, the easiest option, is to browse to the template that you like, open it up, you can preview it. This is what it's going to look like. You think, yep, I like this. I'm simply going to copy the URL from the template library, head over to Google Classroom, add a link, and paste it in there. This will direct students to that particular template. They can click the copy button, modify it as I've instructed, and then reattach it to the assignment when they're done. That's option number one for doing individual assignments. Now, if you wanna modify the template, there's a couple extra steps that you're going to have to perform. I like this template, but I wanna change it around just a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead, open it, make a copy, make whatever modifications that I want. Here's my file. And this is gonna be a, a familiar trick to some of you. Google Docs supports this same thing. You're gonna look at the URL of your activity. And it's gonna end in a question mark. So you'll see there's a question mark and then usually a couple of letters um, at, the, at the very end. So I'll zoom in, you can see right there, question mark. You're gonna delete everything to the right of that question mark. Get rid of all of that. And you're gonna replace it with slash duplicate. And then you are going to copy that entire URL, ending in slash duplicate, head over to Google Classroom, and add that as a link. When a student clicks on that link, it'll force them to make a copy of your modified template, and then they'll be able to complete the assignment. Now, for either of these two options, it's important to remind students that they will need to reattach 
their FigJam file to Google Classroom so that you have access to it. It's very simple to do. In the top right corner of their assignment, you'll see the attach button, and you can just drop a link uh, right there for you to, uh, to visit it. That's how you would assign an individual assignment using Google Classroom. All right, I've got a fun group project set up for my students. I'm asking them to create a fictional podcast on microorganisms. I teach biology. This is kind of a boring unit. I'm hoping this will engage them. I'm going to start in Google Classroom, create my assignment, type up my instructions, as you can see here, um, all the tasks. And then I'm going to go to the student selector up in the top right corner. I'm not assigning this to everyone. This is going to be group one. And I'm going to have my students work in groups of three. So I'm going to assign Edmund, Lucy, and Peter to group one. I have this all ready to go, but I need to give them their template, their FigJam file. So I'm going to head over to FigJam. I've got my activity all set up. I'm just changing the name. Make sure it says group one in the title. Uh, we're going to make sure that this is shared so that anyone with the link can edit. That will require that they sign in to make changes. And then I'm going to simply copy that URL back to Google Classroom, drop that link in, and assign that one to those first three students. Now I need to set up group two. Pretty easy. I'm going to go up to Google Classroom and say create reuse post. I'm going to reuse my group one assignment. But I need them to have a different file. I can't have them all editing the same file together. So I'm going to head back to FigJam. And I can use the same trick we just talked about. I'm going to delete everything, including the question mark, add slash duplicate. That will make a copy of it, and then I simply change the name from one to group two. So I add that in, group two, copy that, and then post that into Google Classroom uh, for group two to do. And I'm going to make sure that I am selecting the next group of students. So this time, I've already used Edmund, Lucy, and Peter. So this time, I'm going to select Susan, Polly, and Cassie. And I'll save that, and Group 2 has their assignment. Now, if you're interested in learning more about FigJam, learning about some of these awesome templates that I've been showing you, make sure you check out my entire FigJam video series by clicking up here. FigJam is 100% free and will be forever. I encourage you to check it out, sign up for a class account, and you can start doing this in your classroom. There's a link in the description that will help you get the free teacher upgrade. 